Hi, my name is Mike Isolino, and this is for the CrossFit Strongsville New Year, New You video challenge. And the point of this video is to say five good things about yourself. So I'm going to start with the first best thing about myself is going to be my wife, Emily. Um, I know the common phrase is to refer um, to your significant other as your better half, but um, I say it with true earnest that Emily really backs up and motivates me to do better day to day. Um, she got me into CrossFit uh, and she really encourages me to do better, live better, um, and pursue all my goals to the best that I can. And I'd like to think that I do the same back in return. Um, I always try to motivate her to go that extra distance and to be the best person that she can on a day-to-day -day basis. So, um, number two is my creativity. Um, some people say you're born with natural talent. Uh, I say you're born with creativity and curiosity. So, um, through my years of being creative, I've done wedding cakes. Uh, I went to college when I was 16, and uh, I got, I was actually the youngest person ever admitted to my college at the time for the Culinary Institute of America, where I learned how to cook. Um, before that, I was in community college for art, um, natural, and later on, I got into some graphic design. Um, for about two to three years, uh, I got into woodworking pretty heavily and I got to express myself in a lot of creative ways, very artistically, um, through wood and design of, of several furniture items. Mostly I, I gifted a lot of stuff, but I kept some of my favorite parts. Um, and lately it's been um, mostly for my car and my photography. So, uh, I think some of you might already know that. So, I really, one of my things that I cherish most about myself is my creativity um, because it gives me a lot of joy. Number three is going to be curiosity. Uh, I don't think you can really be creative effectively unless you're curious about things. Um, you know, unless you really strive to understand the world around you and go the road less traveled and pick up things that people might find out of the ordinary. You know, people are always kind of like, you know, what's with the camera? Are you a photographer? And I'm like, well, not really. And I'm like, oh, why do you have such a nice camera? And I'm like, well, I just really, you know, I learned a lot on the side and I really wanted to learn more. and so. Uh, I, I just got into some of the better and better gear and now I do it as a side hobby. And I just, some people find it very, very interesting. And um, people have often told me that, like I said, you're born with your, with, with your talent. And I just don't think that's true. I think, I think you have to be curious about the world around you and you have to pursue it and you will learn and you'll pick up things and they build upon each other and you know maybe you were really good at pencil drawing and then you wanted to get into something else that required the same dexterity all of a sudden you're better at that so i'm always curious about getting into new things in the world around me and i'm constantly getting new hobbies and um, side projects emily loves them um, so number four is going to be who I have become. Uh, I can remember being uh, younger, a younger self, and I think it was around when I was 10 or 11, I started to gain a lot of weight. And I think it wasn't until I got into my middle teens to late teens that I really got to a low point. 
Uh, I think my heaviest was 335 pounds. And I knew that society kind of gives you value based on your outward appearance. But I knew that was never going to be true. I knew that if you were if you were true to yourself and you knew uh, you were you were interesting enough, people would find you interesting no matter what you looked like. So I always liked to use my talents um, and let those speak for who I was and not my outward appearance. But I have finally, uh, I think, got my outward appearance to look the way that I always thought it did. So I think when people often change their change themselves for the better, they they hold on to feelings of who they were, and I I don't quite feel that way. I feel like I've always I I finally become the person I always thought I was. And so I really feel as very very fulfilled every day. And I try to always keep that up. And my fifth thing that I like about myself is my for lack of better words, my can do mentality. Uh I I don't think I've ever looked at a challenge and thought uh, I couldn't do that. There's no way, or I, you know, I, or that, that that was too hard, or that would take too much time or too much investment to get into. Uh, I think I've only ever looked at things in a um, what would that take on my part to get done. Um, I've built a lot of things. I've designed things. I've ran. A half marathon. I've lost a lot of weight. I've trekked out into Arizona and I've done huge long hikes with the Boy Scouts. I did. I, I think I raised more money than our Boy Scout troop ever saw for an Eagle Scout project. I got my Eagle Scout. Um, I, I've 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 never said no or that would be too difficult or too hard. I've I've always attacked things head on with not an if I can do it, just how will I do it, because I always knew I would. Um, and so I think I'm going to end this with, you know, I hope everybody gets to where they want to go. Uh, one of my favorite parts in the morning now that I'm accustomed to getting up to 5.30 in the morning to go beat myself up in a gym uh, is actually doing that. I, I really enjoy the people I see every day. I think CrossFit Strongsville is one of the best things that I've gotten into since coming to Ohio and it really was like stepping into a second family. Um, nothing but helpful, encouraging people and it really made the move very easy and painless. And so I try to be, I try to always help and give back as much as I receive, but I don't think that's going to be possible because I think I've received so much. So, um, thanks and go, uh, Strong's Villains.